Hey guys, so here is the um, what I'm going to call the intro to my um, design series um, or you know YouTube series that we're going to call using SketchUp for landscape design. So in this video, I'm just going to go over the basics of the program. We're not going to really start designing anything. We're just going to go through the simple commands um, just to get you used to what you're going to commonly use and what's really important, what you need to know. Um, so just to give you a little heads up what's going to go on. So I'm going to do a series on how to do a landscape design using SketchUp. So this is SketchUp, the free version. Um, I honestly don't really know the big differences between this and the pro version, you know, the version that you pay for. but. As far as I can see, there's no need for the pro version. This does an awesome job. Um, I'm going to put a video above now. You can click on the link if you want to check out kind of my um, little preview of the program, what it can do, and what I think about the program. Um, might be something you might want to watch before you get going into this. So here's the intro. Um, I hope you guys like everything I do, and uh, this is helpful. So. First tool, we're going to start up here, we're going to go through the toolbar up here and just go through all the different commands. So the eraser tool obviously erases things. Um, so we're going to go to our line tool. So this is a straight line right now. So let me zoom out. And you can zoom out just using your mouse uh, scrolling in or out. So let me get situated here. So we are going to start by drawing a line. So you're just going to click and then you can pull that line and if you look down in the bottom right hand corner here you have your dimensions when you're pulling a line so right now I'm parallel with the green axis that's why the light the line is lit up green same I can go over here with the red axis and blue so we're gonna run a line on the green axis so let's say we want it to be 20 feet so we're gonna type in 20 with the foot mark press enter and now we have a 20 foot line um, so we'll go to the eraser tool, go hover over it, press erase, and there it goes. So um, there's the eraser tool and the line tool. Um, line tool you're going to use probably more than anything, probably eraser as well, sadly. Um, so you can also do freehand. I really never use that. It's kind of difficult. You can never get nice, nice lines out of it. But um, So up here we have our arcs. So it's usually set. Um, on a two-point arc, but you have all your different arcs. Um, so to do a two-point arc, you pick your two endpoints. So same thing, you can type in your distance, and then you pull out your arc, and you can see it's showing me which axis I'm on. So right now it's on blue, so I'm going, that's a vertical arc, and if I go to this, it's on the red, so now that's on you know, the normal flat plane. Um, and then you just click when you're ready. So there's our arc. We can go back up, swing around. You can see there's that arc. So we'll erase that, get that out of the way. So then we have our circle tool up here. Um, and you have all sorts. You can do rectangles, rotate rectangle, circle, circle, and polygon. We're just going to do a basic circle. So you click, start with your middle point, and it does it by radius. So you can do a five foot radius, and there you go. So now your circle is filled in. Um, when you see this dark gray or white, that means that you can actually fill. That means your area is closed in, so you can fill it with a um, pattern or color. So we'll erase, actually we'll leave the circle for now. So now we're gonna go up to the next right here. And this is your push-pull tool, which is very important. So we're going to take this circle, and when you hover over it, you can see that it has kind of a um, you know, bunch of dotted lines on it. So that means that you're just choosing that area. So when you click on it, you can pull or pull it, pull it down or up. And just like everything else, you can type in your, you know, your height down here. So let's say we want this circle to be... 12 feet tall, we'll type in 12 with the foot mark, enter, and then there's our 12 foot cylinder. So that tool is extremely important, you'll use that a lot, it saves you a ton of time versus actually drawing your shapes um, height wise. 
So we'll go over to offset. Um, I have not really used this tool very much. Um, honestly, I'm, I have not used it at all, so I'm not sure exactly what it's for. But I'm pretty sure it's you can take your circles or your arcs just like this and just do an offset line. So if you say you built a sitting wall and you have your first outside line done and you want to build the inside line, you can just use this tool right here and it'll give you a perfectly parallel mark. Um, so same thing, let's say we want it to be three feet out. There we go. So next you have your moving tool. So um, you have your arrows up here. So when you click, it's going to select a certain um, actual part, like a line. It's not going to select the whole this whole piece as a whole. In order to do that, you have to select it as a whole like that with your pointer tool and then you can move it as a whole. Um, same with rotating. You can click, make sure you're on your blue axis, go out, and then that can just help you rotate. Um, so you really use that mostly for when you put, let's say you're putting some bar stools in um, or kitchen appliances and when you import them into the program, they're not always going to be on the axis that you want them to be. So sometimes you'll have to rotate. Um, so this is your resizing tool next. So when you click on it and select what you want to resize, it gives you all of the points from which you can resize. So usually you want to resize from opposite points, keep it, um, you know, the same, not dimensions, but keep it the same um, so it looks proportional to each other. And you can just pull or push or pull that and you have your scale in the bottom. So say you want to double the size of this, you can press 2.00, enter double the size. So now we'll click out of this. So now let's say you want to measure something that you already have. So let's say we have a square right here. And you want to see how long this is right here. You're going to take your tool me your uh, tape measure, click on one end and go to your next and that's going to give you your measurement down the right hand corner. Um, you can also use it to mark certain points so if you want to say you want to draw another line horizontal to this line you can at 10 feet you can do 10 feet enter and sometimes it'll leave a little mark so you know where your 10 foot mark is it didn't do it that time sometimes it's a little tricky um, but that way you can use it for marking so we're gonna skip um, I have no clue what this is for and I've never used it we're going to go to our paint. So this is where you can just use your all your different fills and we will get into detail with this later. This is how you actually put your paver and wall patterns onto your um, project. So you'll click on your color, let's say, make our square yellow. Pretty simple. You can go to all sorts of stuff that's already in here. So we have roofing, so if you're designing your house and take shingles. Um, use that, you know, they have like the clay shingles, all sorts of different stuff. Um, so this tool right here is your rotation tool. So you're going to use that just to rotate around your project. You just click and use your mouse to spin around. Um, that's pretty important. Um, next is the hand, so that's just going to seem kind of similar. It's just going to move you around. It won't let you spin, but it'll let you move up and down and side to side in your project. Um, magnifying glass, uh, I'm not really sure what the need for that is, seeing as you can just scroll with your mouse, um, but you can always use that. And then as far as these next, um, you know, things go, I never really use them. You have your 3D warehouse right here, which you can click on, and it'll just bring you right to your... 3D warehouse and this is where you search to import your 3D objects which we will get into more detail later. Um, but as far as the basics go, um, that's really it. There's not much more other than that. It's really simple to use. Once you get used to using all those different commands um, and controls, this program is super easy to use and it just takes practice to get used to. But um, there you go guys, there's the basics to SketchUp and stay tuned for future videos, hopefully coming pretty soon. Um, we'll start actually designing a whole project and we'll just go step by step. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed.